Hello. Hello, everyone. can't watch because my grandparents are visiting big sad no problem no problem grandparents are always important what's the song that in the background let me send it to you for some reason the the song title text doesn't work <laughs> like you would see it on the bottom left but for some reason it just broke and I have no idea how to fix it. So it'll definitely be back next season. But I'm glad you guys are enjoying the, uh, the music. It was perfectly tailored. Yeah, first up, this is a very, this is a very exciting match day. Actually, I'm gonna cut the music. This is very important. Oh, perfectly ended right when I when I wanted it to but anyways so this is a very important match day if you're going to tune in for this one this is one definitely you'll want to keep uh, an eye on for the following reasons so so right now we'll have Griffins face Norfolk but Griffins are currently in first uh, with a three point difference oh hold on hold on there we go with a three point difference against second, which is Ejtahan. Uh Rovers right behind them with 24, six points away from the Griffins in third. Everyone else falls away after that. And then on the other end, we have Norfolk currently in the relegation playoff spot with eight points. The end are below them with seven points, and the Royals and Eagles are both above them with nine points. So this is a very important match for the reason that I mentioned before. So if the Griffins win this match, the onus is completely on Ejdahan to beat the Rovers. No draw, no nothing. It's three points or bust. And if Ejdahan failed to do so against the Rovers today, then Griffins will be the champions of the league once again. Um, on the other hand, if Griffins somehow scuffed this one up, it's a perfect opportunity for Ejdahan to gain some points on them and then we won't know who will win the league title uh, until the final match day, which will be next week. Um, and as for Norfolk, they cannot lose this match because then uh, Royals will face Leyenda for another relegation battle. Um, so Norfolk will, f this is it, this is it for Norfolk. They have to at least get a point here to, uh, to see if they can get anything today and anything from the season. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's roll right into it. Okay, everything looks good. So yeah, this is definitely, this is probably the most interesting match day, depending on how the results turn out. Um, the last match day could turn out to be a formality, or it could very well be a very exciting end to the season. Air is on again, so you guys can probably hear it. <laughs> no problem. I think the odds currently are that Griffins will win this match. Of course, well then we'll have to see how Eshtahan do. 
but if Griffiths drop points here, oof, it's going to blow things wide open for Eshtahan. Then it's even more pressure on Eshtahan, I think. But yeah, how, how's everyone been? Uh, we had the time change here, so I got an extra hour of sleep. You love to see it. Nice, good hour, extra hour of sleep. Although, it's weird because if you can't sleep too much, because that also messes you up. Same way that sleeping too little messes you up, sleeping too much also messes you up. Oh, it's a good pass to Babatunde, and he's... It's well over. I love to hear the air coming into the mic. I guess so. Got like some air conditioning ASMR. Ooh, it sounds like I'm in an airplane. Oh, great interception from Sanchez. I'll be very interested to see how the Norfolk defense does. I don't think their attackers will get much action today. So it's up to the defense. Ooh. Out there with a bit of a steal. Yeah, good. Fred says good. Good to hear that. Any holidays coming up where you guys live? Obviously, we have Thanksgiving here in the U.S. in a couple weeks' time. But any other holidays you guys are celebrating? Because it feels like, I don't know, it feels like to me that the end of the year is always where like the most holidays are. Like where most people have holidays. Fred somehow comes out with the ball. Good stuff from DeMarcus. They steal it away. Santos to guest. To Demarcus, good stuff from Fred. We have a holiday here this month, but it's not considered a national holiday. What holiday is it? Is it like a cultural holiday? Good pass to Bilal. Good cross. You know, Santos was getting onto that one. Norfolk with the ball. Yes, this pass is deflected off of Santos. There's two Santos on the pitch, actually. So I'm going to call Imani Santos Imani and Eusebio Santos Eusebio. So we can prevent that confusion. I'm interested as well. Do you guys, does anybody not watch the video and like listen to them? Like you just listen to it? Oh, good pass. And a good save by Schneider. So Basai with the good shot on target. I'm wondering though, if, if, if like you guys do tune into the videos, but you don't watch them, you just listen to them. Because I do that all the time. And I'm wondering because, you know, a lot of the videos that I watch aren't really tailored to that. So, like, it'd be better to explain what's going on on the screen so you guys don't have to, like, if I say, like, whoa, that was crazy, you guys don't have to, like, tune in. Ooh. Oh, it's in. They snuck it in. Hernandez was running out of room, and he slides in and scores from an impossible angle. What a goal. Oh my goodness, how did he... Well, Schneider did kind of push it into his own net, but... That's a crazy angle to score from. It's 
So it's 1 0 for the Griffins. Oh, Baba Tunde snuck through again! It was almost 2 0 in the blink of an eye. A good save from Schneider. A great save, actually. Cabral with the corner. Bibet comes out with the ball. It's going to be two. It's two. Leo Bibet this time. It's not often that he scores, so he'll be super happy with that one. That was going to be always hard to stop. Bibet was right there at point blank range, essentially. That's 2 0. What's the abbreviation for Croatia? It's HR, right? Yeah. It's the 48th anniversary of the Polytechnic University protest on November 17th. The Greek junta tried to repress the protest. Of the, uh, got it. Okay. So it's like a commemoration. Okay. I imagine there's like probably protests. Like anniversary protests. So, yeah. Interesting. Cabral, he's in a good spot, he's going to cut in, he's still with the ball all the way back to Bibet again, he finds Cabral through, Fred, oh my goodness, it hit the post, it was going at, at like Mach negative 3, he could have scored from there, you know. Pass to Fred. Oh, excellent defensive work. Oh, Schneider punches it out. Soboslai was offside. He was off the pitch. And he wanted to give the post a hug. It's always, it's always interesting that. Yeah, here in the US we have Veterans Day, so I don't have work on Friday, let's go. <laughs> it's a four day week and a long weekend. Oh, Baba Tuni was all by himself. Great, great stuff from Schneider to make himself big. It's the two-week anniversary of Antonio Corona scoring his second goal for Golden Eagles on October 21st. In 2023, the Mexican striker was subbed on to score a fantastic equalizer in the 85th minute. Huh, interesting. I've never heard of this Corona chap, so... He's probably good if he, if he got subbed on and scored, so... You know, there's that. Here's Guest. Sebio, oh, he tried to find Bilal in the center, but Axel got to it first. Here's Bobby. Baba Tunde, such a menace on the wing this season. Oh, good recovery from Sebio. Guest. Lays it out to Ayudeli. Oh, Ayudeli is through here. To Bilal. Back to McGee. Bilal finds him four on the wing. Bilal again. Back to him four. Oh, Bieber. 
Massive recovery from him. That's really, really class. And Hernandez with exquisite dribbling. Fred. Foul for Norfolk. Oh my goodness, this first half has flown by 35 minutes already. What? Was Fred offsides there? Oh, I don't know about that one. That was weird. I mean, obviously the game can't like fake offsides because you know, it's built into the code. Because how, how are you gonna code something to not work some of the time, so. But yeah, that is weird. I wonder how offsides he was. Hernandez, he's got Babatunde. Bilal. Oh, all the way back to Layman. They're good under pressure. Oh, Babatunde. save Getting, it's getting rough in the midfield now. Nobody can seem to consolidate possession. All the way to Bilal. That's a good pass. Uh, Day again down the wing. Oh, Schneider was diving for that one. <clears throat> and we're at the break. It's a Griffin's victory at the moment. Norfolk have had their fair share of chances, but it hasn't been enough. Be better was dribbling there. I knew it was going to be a goal. It was. It's always going to be hard to defend against that when he's got tons of room and he's all by himself. So it's 2-0 for the Griffins. Not a surprising result at the moment, I think. I would hope for Norfolk maybe a bit more from them. If they can snag a goal early on in the second half, I think it might open things up a bit more. And Norfolk are playing more attacking now, so they might they might get it. Oh, but a brilliant pass to Sobo Sly. I don't know what he was trying to do there. It 
did not work. Oh, and that's unfortunate. DeMarcus rolled on the ball and lost possession. Here's Sobo Slide. Oh, brilliant pass to Bamba Tunde. Bamba Tunde cuts back. Finds Imani. Oh, good stuff from Sanchez. Oh, they're a bit they're a bit stretched at the back. The Griffins. Gonna be a sub here. Sebio Santos is coming off for Anthony Cole. Oh. That's unfortunate. His dang game. Gonna be a yellow card for Pettis. Oh, that's that was nasty actually. No intent for the ball. Anthony Cole. Back to Becker. Oh, Hernandez fights him. He wins it back, lovely. And oh, brilliant pass from Fred Hernandez. Oh my goodness gracious. They need to stop doing that, that's not working. Santos, Babatunde, Guest, back to Robert Grimes. See, they're passing the ball around well, Norfolk. It just seems that they're overrun with pressure. Griffins don't allow them that breathing space. But they do dink the ball around well. Guest, back to Sanchez. See, look, the pressure from Babatunde is right on them. They can't get past the midfield. They've lost it. Fred, Soposlai, to Hernandez. Oh, he finds Fred. Oh, but he was offside, and the defenders knew it. Oh, he was well offside. No doubt about that one. McGee and Guest are off. Paquet and Gojo take their spots so both side Griffin somehow retain possession Decent effort, but Schneider dove to his right and got it. All good. Oh, it's a loose ball. Gojo. Ooh, Gojo was shoved to the ground. Look at those glasses. My oh boy looking fresh. Aideli. Ooh, it falls to Bilal. Oh, that was a good effort. Good stuff from Bilal as well to get to it. Norfolk almost got one back. Let's see what they can make of this. It's gonna go out for a corner. To Marcus to take it. To Marcus hooks it in. Oh, no one was there. Anthony Cole gets the loose ball. Ah, oh, that wins it. That was a good chance for Norfolk. They almost had one there. Sanchez. Gojo. Oh, poor header from Santos, but Lehman will come out to collect that one. Man, these air noises are not stopping anytime soon. I'm really in an airplane right now. Ooh, Imani Santos wins it back. Great save from Schneider. 
Huge, huge save. Massive, massive save. What a great save that was. I think the referee plays advantage there, but that was definitely a foul. Okay, the air noises are definitely stopped now. Gojo. Demarcus. Fred does well. He's, he does well defensively, Fred. He knows how to take the ball back, so that's good. Oh, great pass to Fred, who's infiltrated. Oh, what a, what a stellar pass that was to Fred. Good control, but he couldn't keep it on target. That was excellent play by the Griffins. And Imani Santos going to come off for Oppenheim. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. Oppenheim. I think this is the, the first time in a long time Oppenheim has been subbed on. Dribbling from Fred. Oh, good interception from Gojo as well. Gojo has fit in nicely into the Norfolk team. Badis. Gojo wins it back. Ayudeli. Bed rockets it forward to Fred, but Schneider got to it first. Man, they're really good at that. Those looping balls in through the middle. Paquet. Oh, good stuff from Paquet. Come on, Norfolk, get at least a goal here. Great dribbling from Demarcus. Aw. Bilal again tried to go for a strike, but the defenders got to it first. Paquet. What's so Jeez, that sh just lunged in. And then Nana sneaks through. Runs out of field. What a great dribble that was from Mateo Hernandez, though. Ooh, nasty tackle on Soboslai. Free kick given. Bieber will try it. Oh, that looked good. Schneider moved at the right place. Hernandez. Good pass to Fred. Great interception from Grimes. Ooh, Hernandez pokes it loose. Oh. Papatunde. Good cross. Soboslai again. And Hernandez right at the keeper. 
They're just kind of going for it, Griffins. They're going for the easy strike. Not trying to catch the defense off guard. Except for that Hernandez strike, I guess, from like that impossible angle. Hernandez stays with it, lays it off to Soboslai. Cabral ends it up with the ball back to Bieber, who's a good pivot as an anchor. Oh, Soboslai was shoved away. I don't think that was in the penalty area. We're at the edge. Bieber. Oh, he should have gone for it. Oh, what a pass from Ayadeli to Bilal. Axel heads it away. No, that was just desperate from Ayadeli. And that is where the match will end. Norfolk weren't enough to stop the Griffins. And the Griffins take their vital three points. So now we'll have to wait until Eshjohan and Rovers to see if Griffins are champions of the league. Again. Golly. Man of the match, I think B Bet is up there. He was huge today. If it weren't for him, Norfolk would have had many more uh, opportunities in goal. And he even pitched in with the goal, like we can see there. Hernandez as well. Hernandez was good as well today. Babatunde, I think also up there, but I think for me, Bieber still was the cream of the crop there. Yeah, I think there will be Bieber. I'm curious to see what the game says. It is Bieber, let's go, I was right. Only one sub for the Griffins, Ampenheim with the six. Cole with the 7.0, that's great. I think that is deserved as well. Pake with the 5.5 and Gojo with the 5.5. But yeah, I think I will give it to B better. Remarkable decisiveness, yep. Alright, next one. Leyenda will face the Royals. This is a heated battle. For relegation. So I'll be very excited to see how that turns out. Let's see. The Inder Franks will have to go to another stadium. Please start sooner so I don't miss the end of the Oslo game. Don't worry, my man. I'm heading over to the stadium right now as we speak. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I'm losing time. Alright. We're on our way. Don't worry. The bus is on its way to the stadium. Now 
Now I should note that Leyenda here are playing with a different formation than they've normally played. And I think this is the first time they've ever played with this formation, a 3-4-3. So maybe that might be the ticket to a good result today. What a moment. This game will decide if our season was good or bad. Absolutely. For the Royals, this is a must-win game. I think if they win, they're basically assured not going down in any in any way, shape, or form. Because they're currently on 9. If they win, they're on 12. They end up stay on 7 and Norfolk stay on 8. So we might have the relegation spots defined if Royals win today. However, if they end up win, we'll also have to see how the Eagles do to see how it turns out. But yeah, this is huge. Massive, massive for the Royals and for Leyenda. Oh, the, the, the music cut out. Stop it before the next one. Yeah, I stopped it with one second to go. No jinxes, please. I won't even say anything. I will remain silent. Alright, this is it. This is the crux. I think this is the crux of both of these teams' season. Leanda, we're languishing. Royals have been languishing as well, but as of recently, they think they've hit their stride. So it all comes to fruition today, whether it's going to be a happy day or a really sad day in the VPSA. Free kick for Leyenda. Did Leyenda switch formation? Yes, they're playing with the 3-4-3 for the first time. Sam's free kick first time. Goes over. Not really challenging Guadalco on that one. Yesterday you said it's a historic win and they tied. I'm not even going to say anything, so... Yep. So we'll see, we'll see. Alessio. All the way to Bale. Find Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder's going to have to play his A game today. If he wants to give the Royals a result. Stevie Wonder. Good cross. Espolón picks up the loose ball. Alessio from distance over the bar. Is Lena playing a three back? Yes, sir. They're playing three at the back. I think it's Berens, Adulia dead. And one more. I think it's Fernandez. Bra head to Oliveira. Espolón, who's going to carry it. Oh, he lost it against Sam. Oh, but Espolón wins it back again. Oh, but he's lost it again. Okay, I uh, man, I didn't get a chance to look at the other one, but it's definitely Atulia Det and Berens. It is Fernandez. They're playing those three at the back. Stevie Wonder. Oh, Stevie Wonder. He went for it, and it looked good, but Harnash, with some quick thinking, got the ball safely. Chat Champion wins it back. Bale's in the box. Oh. Excellent vision from Chad Champion to take it back. And Bale skews it off. Oh, by the way, are we still doing the OSM League? Because I still haven't joined with Fallup yet. <laughs> Come on, I want to sign Messi.
Good pass to Espolon. Alessio, oh, he finds Espolon. Espolon puts it in. What a pass from Alessio. And Espolon delivers. Putting it past Harnash. And Royals are off to a massive 1-0 lead at the moment. Great pass from Alessio. Espolon with the excellently timed run. Harnash was just a tad bit too late. And Espolon puts it in. If Harnash was just a bit earlier, he would have got to it. Alright, time to write down these stats. I hope nothing happens when I'm not looking at the screen. Oh, Bale, you won't get me there. Nah. Let's see, the goal was in the 14th minute or the 13th minute? I, I'm going to say it was the 13th minute. Also have great teamwork, not gonna lie. Yeah, they really work well together. They may not be as strong as the Griffins or the Rovers, but they've got a really well planted team. 14th minute? Okay, thank you. Oh, but Ramiro's crawling his way through. Oh, Whoa, it is going to be a foul on Montero Diaz. Sam with the free kick. And that one harmlessly goes past everyone. Espolón. Fail. Oh, brilliant stuff opening up the space for Chad Champion. It's loose. Oh, Stevie Wonder. It was almost a recreation of the goal he scored yesterday. But he was caught too much ahead. Or too far ahead. That's how you speak English. Too far ahead. Oop. Bumped my mic. The reason I bumped my mic is because I keep rubbing my mustache. Because it feels so weird to only have my mustache and no other facial hair. Like, I kept looking in the mirror. I was like, who is that guy in the mirror? <laughs> But it's cool, I like it. I look like an 80s cop. Jet champion. Brilliant pass to Bobo. Oh, great save. I thought that was going to be two. But Harnash this time made himself big. And you'll see that Royals love to play through the middle like that. Right at the edge of the line, of the defensive line from the opposition. Espolón again. Finds Wonder. Patrick Rodriguez. Leander need to mount something here if they want if they want to get back into this match. Patrick Rodriguez finds Ramiro. Oliveira wins it nicely. The defense for the Royals will have to be on guard today. And so far they have.
Alessio. Good dribbling from Alessio. Linda went it back. Rose with the ball now. Oh, that was a soft foul. And the referee's going to have a word with him. Tells him to calm down. I don't know, but that was a bit soft. Speaking of which, did you guys watch the Newcastle Arsenal game? I did. Boy, I have some choice words about that game. Bale. Good cross. Bobo! Ooh, I thought that was gonna go in. I thought that was heading in. Bobo with his third goal of the season, what could have been. The air's kicked on again. So I'm back in the airplane. Champion. Booted forward. Alessio finds Wonder through the crowd. Champion. Oh, that was soft too. <laughs> Alessio with the free kick. Alessio's chasing it. Ooh, Stevie Wonder wins it back. Bobo. It finds Bale. Aw. Oh. Unlucky. Finds Denise. This could be a good chance for Leyenda. Jesus. He's in the box. Right at the edge of the box. Cuts back. Denise. Deflected off of Cardoso. Back with Denise. Finds. Oh, what a pass to Jesus. Oh. Sam. Sam. Ugh, I can't speak anymore. He's found the equalizer. They've struck back. It took just one moment there. Sam to the rescue. One, two, it took a whole bunch of shots, touches, and Sam will find the equalizer. It's one all now. The game is in full, back in the full swing. I was in the 38th or the 39th minute. Oh, dang it. Golly. I'm going to say it was the 39th minute. Chad Champion with the yellow card. Game kind of froze there for a second. Sam to Ramiro. Oh, Leyenda could get a second one here. Ramiro cuts in. Oh, it went through everybody. Just like that, the tides are turning. Here's Bobo to Bale. Gonna be a foul. Alessio. He finds Bobo. Ooh. He's in a dangerous position. Oh. 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 The defense made an error. And Bale will not show any mercy. 
And he chased for that one. He fought for it. And he got his reward. Royals are back in the lead. That was a nervy play there from Leyenda. Right, and it's another lead for the Royals. All that work from Leyenda to get that goal is gone. Here's TV one, or that's Alessio. Alessio, Alessio puts it in and it's three. Alessio with the Royals third goal. And he fought for that one too. He just ran his way through. They've been popping off recently, the Royals. That one was definitely in the 45th minute. That one I know for sure. Here's Bobo. Oh, what a pass to Bale. It could be four. Great save. Great save from Harnash. Stevie Wonder with the corner. It finds Chad Champion. Ramiro. Oh, brilliant cross. Oh, Sam. Oh, I thought they were going to get their second goal there. Oh, what a match. What a match this has been. Hold on, I've, I got to write Alessio's stat. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're going to be in silence. Just kidding. It was in the 13th minute, you fool. You lied to me. Well, that was the Royals' first goal of the match. Then Leanda, a scrappy goal. They got one back, and it looked to be that they could have gotten a second one and taken the lead. Also got a cheeky goal. And then Alessio with the third one in the first half is putting Royals in a comfortable 3 1 lead for the second half. Me and Arde are trying to tell you something. Where are you sending it? If it's about the tactics, don't worry. I, I'm going to do it right before the match starts. All right. I sent it to DMs. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'll take a look at it before the match. So don't worry. Got those so fine. Stevie Wonder. An early chance for the Royals here. Cardoso. Cleared away. Early stuff here. Ramiro for Latif. Latif's going to come to the rescue. If Latif scores today, I'm going to be... 
be a whale dude. Stevie Wonder. That was a brilliant cross and it was kind of in no man's land. But Lena survived that one and here's Gabi. They could not counter here. Latif. Great pass from Latif back to Gabi. Bale. Royals again. Good cross. Solid defensive stuff from Leyenda. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's crazy how Sam hasn't been upgraded in the longest time. And he's still like so, so good. And he's still scoring goals. Here's Bale, back to champion, deflection. Montero Diaz again. Good stuff from Latif, but he gives away a corner. Whoa, what? Okay, that's interesting. The ref was blinded for a moment. Asne, what are you doing, mate? Nah, Asne still, you know. Yeah, poor, poor Asne. Alessio. Deflected and out for a corner. A sub there, champions off for Lucio Hernandez. Cardoso, oh, oh, this is the dangerous part. Ah, oh, they all fouled him. Rows are pressuring Leyenda as well. Espolon, goodness gracious. Alessio's through. Whoa. I think if Alessio had aimed it just a bit closer to the post, it would have been four. Jesus, good stuff from Hernandez. He's a good player, Hernandez. He's got an unconventional player build, but it makes him pretty good. Here's Bobo, he finds Bale, who's in the box. Cleared away. Bale, for some reason, was all by himself up front. Good cross from Stevie Wonder. Cleared away. Denise, oh, that's a foul. So it's a free kick in a good position. Sam's going to shoot it from there. Nope. Great stop from Alessio. Alessio has been having an absolute amazing game today. Bobo. Bale. Oh, what a pass to Bobo, but he was offsides. Oh, 
was a, oh, just a little bit before was a good idea. Two subs for Leenda, one for Royals. Alessio. Oh, he tried to find Heiken through the space, but he couldn't. Here's Heiken. He finds Wanderers all by himself. Oh, great save from Harnash. Harnash has been doing really well today, despite the scoreline. He's made a number of great saves. card for Espolon. Yep, I knew that was coming. Cardoso's off for Kedzierski. Latif. Come on, Latif. Latif. Oh, you broke Latif's entire body. How dare you, Alessio. Shame on you. No, 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 don't complain, Montero BS. We could all see it from a mile away. Good pass to Hernandez, who's created a little bit of a gap for him. A decent cross, and the header from Alessio is just off target, but excellent play again from the Royals. Fair, sorry. It's okay, man. We all make mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you're dead. Lots of fouls in this game. He finds Latif. Oh. That one's well over. He even hit the invisible wall up there. Stevie one to, to Hernandez. Decent strike. I can see an Oslo red incoming. Oh snap. We'll see. And then Latif will swoop in with two hat tricks. A double hat trick. I can see it now. Fell on Latif again by Alessio. Man, there's a fight between those two. Heiken. Thundering down the right wing. Heiken finds Espolon. Espolon sidesteps. He finds Heiken. Ah, I put it straight at Harnash. If they had a little bit more direction, those would all be goals. Hernandez. Gonna be a throw. Keep calm. There's no need to foul. Indeed. Gedzierski now. <gasps> Great header. You caught me by surprise. I didn't think anyone would get to that one. Here 
comes Rose again. They could get a fourth, you know, before the end of the match. Hike in. Again, headed away. The lane, the defense have been having to work overtime. Espolon now. Espolon unchallenged. Right at Harnash. But that one had some, that one had some spiciness to it. Wonder to Alessio. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Everyone's falling apart. There's limbs flying everywhere. We're in added time for the second half. Bobo, uh, oh, and a foul by Hernandez. I think this is going to be a yellow card. Yep. And I think the referee will call it right here. Royals will obtain a massive three points that I think puts them out of a relegation spot this season so they they've saved themselves right at the end let's take a look here yes because with 12 and Norfolk have lost and the end have lost they're on eight and seven so it's up to the Eagles if the Eagles win today which will be right after this match if the Eagles win both Norfolk and Leyenda have a chance at going down, but we'll have to see who goes down directly and who has to go through the playoffs. So it depends on the Eagles result now. I got to go see you later. See ya, Alessio. Thanks for tuning in as always. You too, candy van owner. Good name, I guess. <laughs> the man of the match, I think it's Espolon. It has to be Espolon. He was huge today. So, so good. Again, he pitched in with an assist, or an assist, a goal. Alessio was pretty good today. Let's see. Alessio or Espo man of the match? Yep. Let's see what the game says. It was given to Alessio. And look at that. We were both right. Espolon and Alessio were the best players today. Here are our subs. Latif 5.5, Atwell with the 5.5, Dwayne with the 6.0, Hernandez with the 6.5. He had a really good game. And I'll even go as far to say that Lucio Hernandez is definitely one you want to keep your eye on in the future. He's turning out to be a really, really good player. Haikin with the 6 and Kizerski with the 6. But yeah, I think... Alessio was pretty good, and he did win a lot of balls back as well. Espolón played with really good playmaking ability. Mm. Yeah, I think I will give it to Alessio. Alright, second match done. Have you had a chance to test out the outboards? Not yet, sorry my man. I'm I'm kind of tied up with the streams and then with the work in general. 
So I think I'll go do all that um, when when the season ends, and I'll show everyone how it turns out. So, but yeah, sorry about that. I just don't have much time outside of the streams and work. I'm gonna write it down in my to-do list. All right, let's move on to our third match of the day. This is also a huge game. Let's see, where do Eagles play? At the same stadium, let's go. So Eagles will face Tragoish. And if the Eagles win today, again, we'll know that Norfolk and Leyenda will both be the teams that will be fighting relegation directly, and it'll only be a matter of who goes directly and who goes to the playoff. But if Eagles lose today, then they're very much in that fight against relegation until the last day. So if Eagles win, if they draw, uh, they're still in it, but it's like in between. They're kind of, but they're kind of safe, but not really. But yeah, if they win, they're safe. If they don't, they're in danger until the last one. So, yep. Oh, the music stopped. No, before the other one starts. Oh, no. Yeah, I was right on time. And it's a song that I like. So we're, we're cruising with the music. Just pop my thumb. Ouch. All right. Third one here. And we're underway again. I'll reiterate. Eagles, if they win today, the relegation battle will lay squarely on Norfolk and Leyenda. If Eagles draw, they're kind of safe, but not really. If they lose, they'll have to go to the last match day to see if they get in a relegation spot. And against Dragoish, who are a squarely mid-table team. It would be a massive result if they win here. So let's see how it turns out. Oh, Garrett Hart sweeps in for Nono. I haven't seen much of Nono lately, actually. Hope he's doing well wherever he is. Il est où le nono? Que passe Ramirez? Ramirez finds Tom Price! Oh, what a save! Right on the line, Brathwaite. That would have been 1 0 for Dragoish, but a huge save from Brathwaite. Keeps the score level. What a save from Brathwaite. Clipped that one. Another corner. Plays it short to Imran. It's hooked in. And Price, his header goes over. Oh, that was good as well.
JJ wins it back. JJ, JJ's in the box. JJ, good save by Thuji to JJ. No, what happened there? The ball like got magnetized to the ground. Here's Garrett Hart. Oh, it's end-to-end -end stuff now. Garrett Hart. Garrett Hart. Good recovery. Ooh. Cleared away. Corona. Good stuff from Nono. Zephy. Challenged by Alex Anderson, who wins it back. Here's Ferdinand. Besky. Jensen, JJ, this is good for the Eagles, no, no, Zephy, they're dinking it around, no, no, he's got a few options, lays it back to Jensen, Zephy, Gopeski, good cross, Corona's on it, Ah, oh. over, but a good effort nonetheless, they're generating their chances, Here's JJ. JJ. Oh, I thought I was going to sneak one there. Oh, JJ wins it back again. JJ puts it in. JJ sneaks it right over through Jim. And he's put his team in a really good position. JJ with the relentless pressure, he was doing that for the past few minutes. And it's rewarded him greatly. Really well struck by JJ. And the Eagles are up 1 0. Looking good for the Eagles so far. There's still plenty of game to play. I bet Zephy's going wild. <laughs> I can almost hear him from here in the United States, actually, if you listen close enough. Nope, someone's on the ground. It's Bocchini. Oh. Hopefully he's not injured because that would be a huge loss for the Eagles. Now receiving treatment. Indeed. He's good to go. Don't scare us like that. Ferdinand. Oh, this could be good for Dragos. Ferdinand cuts in. He's in the box. Ferdinand. Oh. It was looking good until the finish. Then it didn't look so good. on with a good pass to Price. Price cuts in. Price is in the box. Great save from Brathwaite. Ooh, Price. Oh, what a save again from Brathwaite. Oh my goodness. Brathwaite's having the match of his life at the moment. Decent corner. And it's over. Goal kick. Damn, as I see the matches, it makes me sad that a whole season has been wasted, the VPL for me. Hmm. Maybe, maybe you should take off to see other pastures. Hmm. Here's Imran. Imran is all by himself. It's up to Imran and Brathwaite. Oh. Why was he giving us the thumbs up in the camera? <laughs> It's like, don't worry, guys. It was good.
JJ to Kopeski. Zephy, they're moving the ball around. Eagles have been doing exceptionally well. They've really turned up for this match. Ramirez. Good clearance. I believe that was Finn Peters. That'd be a corner, Blackwood. Again, over the bar. They can't seem to keep those headers down. Rodriguez sneaks through Ferdinand. Oh, Brathwaite again. Brathwaite's been having such a good game today. Excuse me. What a pass to Tom Price. Tom Price. Tom Price. Tom Price. Imran. Imran in the box. Oh, it's juggling about. Ramirez. Ramirez hits the post. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a game. Oh, my gosh. You can't get closer than that. Ramirez almost found the equalizer. But it rattles the post. Man, I love this league. JJ. Good stuff from Garrett Hart. Ferdinand. Ferdinand, Ferdinand. Ramirez. Good cross. Aw, oh, Tom Price again. Tom Price, he's had like four headers and all of them have gone over. Zafira JJ, Nono, Bocchini, Jensen, is stream lagging again for anyone else? Oh no, is YouTube, is YouTube being that dummy again? Oh no, YouTube, fix your platform. <laughs> Ooh. Or it might be just your internet. That's also a possibility. Corona, good pass to Zephy. Zephy's in the box. Zephy! He's, he couldn't put it in the back of the net. It's not a bad effort, but to be up 2 0 against Dragoish would be huge. Pass to Ramirez. Oh, great save again from Brathwaite. Ramirez keeps it, keeps it in. Ferdinand. Ferdinand. He might strike from there. He does. Great deflection there. I believe that's no no. Imran. Blackwood. Tom Price. Ferdinand, great save again from Brathwaite. Oh my goodness, Brathwaite. Change your internet provider? Yeah, that's easy. Oh, good stuff from Finn Peters. Zephy. Oh, it gets past Alex Anderson. The crowd's excited. And there's a foul. JJ, JJ's been having a great game today as well. 
Kropeski, Nono, Zephy, oh my goodness Zephy, that was a gift. If you're lagging, maybe lower the picture quality. Um, uh, it depends actually. Maybe, sometimes it might work, but sometimes it might just be like people are hogging up the bandwidth. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. Which one of you goofy goobers is playing Roblox? Roblox is like super taxing on the bandwidth. <laughs> Whenever my siblings play Roblox, it instantly tanks the internet and I'm back on like 1997. No, no. JJ. Jensen. Finds Shimoi, who's gonna cross it in. Bocchini. Back to Nono, and the referee's gonna end it there. Somehow he blew the whistle without bringing the whistle to his mouth. That's real talent, not gonna lie. What a result this would be for the Eagles if it holds. Fourteenth minute, no assist, purely JJ's. Roblox giveaway. We should do. We should recreate the VPSA in Roblox. What do you guys think? We should just sim our matches on Roblox. Oh. Ramirez. Oh. It hit the inside of the post. Okay. Eagles are doing their due diligence and would be getting a massive three points if this result holds. But I think we have some more goals in this match. Here's Imran. Oh, good chance for Dragosha to strike early. Bradford is on guard once again. JJ finds Corona. Foul by JJ. Ramirez. Oh, that was a bit nasty from Anderson. No, no. Oh, no, no. He's skating by. Great cross. Corona. Couldn't keep it down again. Do they switch the balls with helium balloons when somebody's about to hit it with their head? I'm genuinely curious. JJ to no no. No, no. Oh, Corona got in the way.
Get past to Ferdinand. Karpeski meets him. Anderson. Oh, he finds Garrett Hart. Oh, Garrett Hart. Why did he hit it with his bald head? It's football, not head ball. Yep, the referee's going to call the foul there. Corona tries to skate past two. Ramirez. Well cut out by Shimo Yuko Yuricic. No, no. Eagles win it back. This could be good for the Eagles. No, no. Uh. Oh, no, no. Oh my goodness, no no somehow got the ball from that. And he got a really good strike on target as well. How he even got something remotely close to that is beyond impressive. Oh, Ramirez steals it back. Good header away. Imran picks up the loose ball. Imran again. Oh my goodness. It's going to be out for a corner. Blackwood to take it all the way across. Uh, that one looked good. That one looked better from Tom Price. But again, this header was not on target. Here's Corona. Oh, they keep running into the ball. They like to dribble the ball a lot, these guys. These lads. Here's Zephy. JJ. Good pass to Zephy. This could be good. Oh, he was offsides. Oh, it was a good attempt. But it was just a body offsides. Ferdinand. Ooh, what a save. Ferdinand actually got some direction on that one. And Brathwaite, just with this outreached hand, got a hand to it. Well done by Brathwaite, but a well struck by Ferdinand. Seventy minutes in, Eagles maintain their lead. What a pass, I guess who who is that too? Jensen. Lays it off to Bocchini. Who is it going to? Oh. Zephy ran out of ran out of pitch.
Ooh, Corona's fighting for it. Also, again, the referee has the same kit as Truchin. We really need to figure out those new referee kits. If you guys had... If you guys could design a referee kit for the VPSA, what would you guys go for? Would you go for something wacky? Because we can also change the faces of the referees. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of that, but we can also do that. again if they get a second goal here I think that's I think that's game over Corona's gonna come out for Gonzalez no Corona edit this time Or that by itself can be an edit. No corona edit, and then the edit begins. Easy. <laughs> the air ASMR is back, yep. Yeah. It's a recurring feature today. Special guest, my air. I'm actually in the airplane right now. Or I'm skydiving. Pesky. What's the good idea here? Good clearance. They don't want to take any chances, no chances whatsoever of a late equalizer because their win at the moment is huge. Huge. Gonzalez. Jensen. Oh, it's going up, and I think that took a deflection, so it's going to be a corner. Some more subs here. Shimo is going to come out for Grij. Look at that. Grij is entering the fray. And he paid a visit to the plastic surgeon as well. He's looking pretty good. Mochini. JJ. There's Grij. Nah, this air guy's a good commentator for real. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I should talk about maybe hiring him. Maybe he can do the commentating from now on. You can't deny talent. Why did Gonzalez stop there for a second? Grish. Good pass to no no. He should get that full time job, yeah. Jensen. Bocchini. Just a little bit left to go for the Eagles. Price. Oh, that's a foul, and I think it's going to be very close now at the end of the match. This will probably be the last play. JJ. Blackwood. I think once Dragoj played out here, it's going to be over. Yep, there it is. 
The full time whistle. The referee again blows the whistle somehow without even letting the whistle touch his lips. It's a huge three points for the Eagles, which means they're saved from relegation. So it's going to be completely on Norfolk and Leanne that have saved themselves. JJ's goal in the 14th minute was enough to see out the victory. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> we should do it. We should do a like an Eagles edit bit getting saved from relegation. Anything is possible. But we've got another tasty match coming up, but let's go ahead and see who man of the match was. Man, the Eagles really squeaked this one out. Big ups to them. Let's give it to JJ. I think JJ deserves it. Outside with the 6.0 and Grish with nothing. Majic with the 6, Ali with the 5.5, and Rossi with nothing. Bradford as well, yeah. Man of the match, Brathwaite, yeah. So I think it's up to you guys. Who do you guys say, Brathwaite or JJ? No, no, is pretty good as well. Man of the match, Brath, wait, no Brath, no Eagles win. I got Brath, Brath. All right. I think that's a fair pick. All right. We can give it to Brath, wait. Big ups to the Canadian. He's also a rapper on the side, so this will definitely boost his sales a bit. As we move on to the final match, before we do, I need to update the tactics actually. But yeah, I did give it to Brathwaite, not to worry. Let's see, Edgedown are playing, right? At home. Yeah, so it's the same stadium, but I need to make a few changes. So one second, everyone. But yeah, this is it. This is a crucial, crucial, crucial crunch match today. Who do you guys think is going to win this match? Do you think Rubbers have it? Do you think Eshdon have it? Do you think they're both going to cancel each other out? This is going to be tight. It's going to be on the day today. This is a battle of giants. 
We need a dramatic song. Hold on, guys. We need to find a dramatic song here because this is this is drama. Drama at its best. Let's see what's a dramatic song. Hmm. Actually, if I if I look up dramatic. Uh. Dramatic classical music. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Let's see. What's a dramatic song? Well, this one is pretty dramatic, so I'll keep this one. BPSA branded music when man, I wish I could write music. Okay. Things looking good. Oh, both. Okay, okay. Oh, these are looking tasty. These tactics, my goodness. We're in for a real treat this match then. Dang it, got uh, ah. <laughs> All right, get me out of here, thank you. Oh, the air kicked in again. All right, let's see how these two teams stack up against each other. Ooh, <laughs> these two teams are neck and neck. It looks like, let's see. Yeah, it looks like Rovers are the most te more technical team, but Edge don't have that better defense. Mmm, <sighs> this is gonna be a real tasty match. I can feel it. Let's play with those. All right, are you guys ready? I'm actually kind of nervous for this match. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. So just as a note, remember, Griffins won their match. So if Eshtahan win, the league title is going to be between Griffins and Eshtahan. If Eshtahan don't get three points today, Griffins will be the league title champions. So with that being said, and without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Couldn't have lined up, the stars couldn't have lined up better here. 
Eshdahan and Rovers both at the top. Both will have a statement to make. And both teams actually um, will face each other off again in the cup final. So it's kind of a preview of what's awaiting us then. Chess is facing his old club. Man. Yep, Kent is starting. Let's cut the music. There he is with his beard. But yeah, Kent is starting. He's starting in that left back position. This is his first start in a while, I think. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh boy, the last match, it, could, it really couldn't have lined up better. Last match of the stream, right before the end of the season. Both teams are extremely strong. Both teams are at the top. A league title is on the line. This is the preview of a cup final, <laughs> man. <laughs> One of the players is facing their old team. Let's go, Eshtahan, with an early start. Both teams will have to be at their best today. Both teams are really going to be pressured. Oh, Nerino gets skipped by Garcha. Oh, Garcha. He skies it. Eshdan playing in their Barcelona colors. Rovers playing in their beautiful Newcastle colors. Nerino lays it out to B-Rob. Kabiri to Lumen to Lunt. Regina Emmett finds chess, but he's offsides. And he's offsides by quite a mile. Let's see. Well, it wasn't that off sides, but he was off. Garcha, good cross. Ademi's header. Again, I will remind you guys, Eshjan have to win today. They can't draw. They can't lose. They have to win if they want to be in the talks for a league title this season. Chiquetti. Good cross. A demi great save from Kabiri. Oh, what? There's a penalty? Penalty for the Rovers. Looks like Trey Lumen tackled Garcha on the way down. Oh boy. And Ademi converts it. Rovers up in front. Oh man. Okay. Ademi smacks it into the top corner. At the moment, Griffins would be winning the league title once again. I think we've got some more goals today. Surely that can't be the only goal today. Here's Jojo. Good stuff from, um, who is that? Virginia Emmett. Lun. Oh, 
Bulgarches by himself. Good save. The rebound. Great clearance. Nervy time, Shiketi. Good clearance. Jojo. Aw, oh, poor pass from Jojo. Virginia Emmett. Virginia Emmett. Virginia Emmett. It's still Virginia Emmett. It's still Virginia Emmett. Oh, someone fell down in the penalty box there. Chris Powell. Jekyll Torres. Lee. Lee. No. <gasps> Lee Ryu Jong almost came with a masterful strike. Oh, my goodness. That was so close. Just like that, things almost changed. Here's Chess. Chess needs to be at his best today. Vashalic. Ooh. Kabidi. Shalich. Good stuff from Virginia Emmett. Chess. Come on, Chess. Chess. Chess is through. It's Chess and Cask. Chess puts it in. Chess with the heroic move. Finds the equalizer. It had to be him. And we're all square once again. Man, this match is going to be so good. I feel it. Chess easily gets past everyone. They weren't going to catch up to him. And very calm and collected. Slots it past Kask. And we're back into the swing of things. Oh, great pass to Gacha. Gacha's in the box. Great save from Kabiri. Gacha! No! Kabiri fumbled it and Gacha pounces on the mistake and makes it two. The equalizer was short lived. Why did he do that? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, what is that? Alright, it's back with the Rovers. I knew this match was going to deliver. Here's Virginia Emmett. Ooh, foul. It's going to be a yellow card, surely. Oh, someone's on the ground. Virginia Emmett? Oh no, if Virginia Emmett's out. That is huge trouble for Eshtahan. Now receiving treatment, Jekyll Torres with the free kick. Oh, what a save! Jekyll Torres almost scores off the free kick. What a save from Kask. Virginia Emmett's good to go. Look at him. Lunt with the corner. All the way across. Aww.
Tyler Adams. Oh, Stojanovic. Loon. Virginia Emmett. Good stuff from Kiers. Wins it back very lovely. Back to Kiers. Kiers opens up the space to Shaketi. Shaketi's in the box. Shaketi, Shaketi. Oh. What a pass to Shaketi. Shaketi, great save from Kabiri. Gears. And the header's over. Shaketi. Shaketi, oh, Shaketi skipped past two. Shaketi, it hits the crossbar. Oh, my goodness. Rovers could have had their third one there. It hits the crossbar. Thirty minutes in. Powell. Fingers chomped indeed. This is a fingers chomped moment if there ever was one. Oh, what a pass to Shaketi. Nerino challenges him. Shaketi crosses it in. Got a chat. Kiris. Oh. Tyler Adams. Ashdown need to create more if they want to get a second goal. Oh, they've given it away, Rovers. Virginia Emmett. Tyler Adams. Oh my gosh, it's absolute chaos. Pashalic, Virginia Emmett recovers it again, Nerino, here's Kent, he's won it back, Kent moving down the flank, good stuff from Nerino, Rob, the press is crazy. Yeah, it's like really high intensity. Oh, great pass to Liri Jong was infiltrated the defense. Great save from Kask. Oh my goodness, what a pass that was, and what a run from Liri Jong. But great save from Kask. Jeko Torres, all the way back to Lumen, Adams, oh, Lee Ryu Jung wins it back, oh, I sees it wide.
You know, Ashton could they still could get their second goal today. Jacko Torres. Chess collides with a few players. Adams is pressuring Kent. And Kent keeps the ball with a poor pass by Stojanovic, who then recovers it, but it's back with Jekyll Torres with the poor pass. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Great interception from B-Rob. Great pass to Chris Powell. Oh my goodness, Chris Powell. What was he doing there? Tyler Adams. Good stuff from Pashalic. Yeah, I think Rovers have been the slightly better team at the moment. But Eshjan have had their fair share of chances as well. And we go to the break. Kent has got the thousand yards there. the penalty Rovers were up 1-0 and then Chess with excellent individual effort rolled it past Kask and then Garcha unfortunate with the fumble from Kabiri that was just unfortunate. But again, they all go in, no matter how you count them. And then this one, Jekyll Torres almost scored from the free kick. What a goal that would have been. crossbar from Shikeri. It could have been three there. Alright. Let's head into the second half. It's been pretty even, but the Rovers have been more crucial up front, or clinical, I guess. Let's see, can Eshjan maybe find the way back? Alright. We're back, second half, last few moments of the VPL stream today. Eshdan will have to do exceptionally well to get back into this match. Oh, Shaketi got a strike there and he was aiming for the top corner. He almost got it. Oh, that was close. Regina Emmett to Chris Powell. Regina Emmett. Regina Emmett. Is he in a good position, Regina Emmett? Lays it close to Tyler Adams. Ah, oh, great tackle from Kent. B Rob wins it back. Regina Emmett. I don't know who was, who was trying to go for there. Oh, Ademi skates past Ademi and Kabiri. Great stuff from Kabiri. He made himself big. Here's Kirs. Garcha. Kirs. Oh. Chris Powell. Ty Tyler Adams. They're going for it, Ejdahan.
Lee Ryu Jung. Good dribbling. Always skates past two. Oh, just over the bar. Really well done by Lee Ryu Jung to get past those two players. Ah, oh, just a little bit below. But it was not meant to be. To loose ball. That's cleared away by Owen. Chess, B Rob. Good cross. Ah, uh, no one was going to get to that one. Chess, Lee Ryu Jong. As John can't really get to seem to do much now. They're kind of being, what's it called? They're being kind of halted a bit. Oh, oh, Virginia Emmett. Oh, Virginia Emmett was tackled there, no penalty. Get it was offsides. Powell. Hmm. Which in Emmett, ah, oh, they're just they're just no room for them to breathe, Eshtahan. They're getting pressed off the pitch, yeah. Torres 63 minutes in time's running out for Eshtahan Chiquetti's gonna break through oh great stuff from Trey Lumen Kiers with the corner goes through everybody Chiquetti all the way back to Kent Good cross from Kent. Oh, what a save. That one had some electric on it. Electricity on it, I guess. I don't know. I'm making that up. And Kabiri with an absolute massive save. He really dove for that one. Virginia Emmett was just a foot off sides. Virginia Emmett Powell. Powell. Nope. JoJo's going to win that one. Lee Ryu Jong. Seventy minutes in. Time is of the essence now for Eshdahan if they want to be a title contender. They need to get two goals. Virginia Emmett strike right at Cask. Powell, Torres, into space for Liu Jong. This is good for Eshtahan. Ah, 
I had the exact same reaction as the crowd. <laughs> well, I should have done better. Maybe pulled it back or something. Demi tries to find Shikeri, but Lunt is on it. Oh, what a pass from Garcha to Kiris. No, that's a Demi. Right at Kabiri, though. Uh, I think Rovers are just too well planted in the defense. Kent is off for Malloy. Oh, what a pass. Nerino, Nerino's forward. Nerino, Nerino, oh my goodness, Nerino forced the cask to make a save, Nerino, my goodness if Nerino had scored that, what, oh I must have gone out after cask got a touch to it, oh that's rough. Yeah, Kent kind of popped off in this one, not going to lie. Shaketi's off for Novak. Ademi. Crossed in. Yeah, Rovers are just too well planted. They have really good pressure. Ejdahan just can't seem to do anything with that. Shalic. Garcha. Oh, great pass to Kiris. Oh, excellent intervention from Nerino. Nerino still giving it his all. Nerino's also been having a good game today. If Smoochie comes on and scores three goals, I'm going to die. <gasps> Powell's all by himself. Powell, he has to score here. No, Powell. Lee Ryu Jong to Tyler Adams. Good stuff from Novak. Tyler Adams back to Loon. Oh, Loon wins it back for Powell. Virginia Emmett. Virginia Emmett, no. Yeah, I think that just sums it up. Cass plays it short to Malloy. Ademi. Mm. 
Nerinho. And it's over. Griffins up top once again. Eshtan should have done it today against the Rovers, but they didn't. Yes, sir. What a game this was. It kind of quieted down in the second half, not gonna lie. Maybe the pressure tired everyone out, the constant pressuring. But yeah, Rovers really came stronger today and they figured out Eshtahan. Eshtahan didn't really have that many chances. They got to the final third, but none of them really were dangerous ones that forced Cass to make good saves. Maybe one or two, but yeah, I think it's a fair result. So, man of the match, who are we thinking? What does the game say? Gotcha. Regina Emmett was given a 7.5 and he wasn't given it. No substitutions for Eshtahan. Two for Rovers, 6.0, and nothing for Novak. Hmm, I'm really curious about Virginia Emmett's stats. He had really good passing, really good interceptions. He was all over the pitch. Hmm. Hmm. A part of me does want to give it to Virginia Emmett because he did play very well today. But also... Check pass completion, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, this is gonna be hard actually. I would say... Hmm. Yeah, this is hard actually. I don't know who to pick today. can't stay here forever so hmm. I think I mean I would give it to Virginia Emmett but Eshan couldn't really create much in general because rovers were very pressure like enduring lots of pressure on them so you know what I will give it to Kent I'll give it to Kent. Why not? He came on. He was strong. So yeah, why not? I'll give it to Kent. Michael Kent. But that is it, lads. The penultimate match day of the season has ended. Season 5, we're just about ready to close it off. It flew by, not gonna lie, guys. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun this season. Um, yeah, tune in for the VCL matches later if you'd like. If not, have a great week moving forward. Um, and yeah, we'll see each other for the cup final next week. 
which will be Eshdan against Rovers again. So tune in, maybe we'll have some uh, changes, some um, new stories. Then we'll have the final match day, which is a formality at that point. I think it's just a matter of who can finish in what position for more money, so more TP. Um, and then we'll have the relegation playoff. We'll see who, who ends up in that relegation playoff spot. And then for a very special stream, I'll be showing the uh, Europa League uh, final fixtures of the group matches. So, uh, yeah, lots of fun. Thank you for tuning in as always. I love this league. I love this community. It's so much fun. You guys don't even know. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as as much fun as... as blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun hosting it. I hope you guys have been having a lot of fun watching it and taking it all in. And uh, here's to more. And uh, yeah, I'll speak about Kyoto later once I start the VCL match. But yes, sir. See you guys in a little bit.